Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, Oxet Magic, and it's Jordan here, and today we are back with the deck text, ladies and gentlemen, and we are going to begin by diving straight into Pauper with my new brew called Heroes of Gruel. So this deck tech revolves around exploiting the heroic mechanic from Theros Block, which essentially allows our creatures to get bigger and bigger the longer they are on the field, from us targeting them with spells. So without further ado, let's look at our creatures in the deck. We are running a full play set of Satyr Hoplite, Satesian Offsworn, Staunch Hearted Warrior, and Ferris Band Thunderfoot. All of them have the heroic mechanic, but you can also curve out from turn one with the Hoplite. But be remember that the Hoplite and the Offsworn are small initially as one ones, but they can get you off to an aggressive start with the right hand. Moving on to the spells of the deck, we are an enchantment based deck which allows us to pump up our creatures with abilities along with the triggering the heroic mechanic. So we have messenger speed, forced adaption, messenger speed is giving us trample and haste, and adaption is allowing our creatures to grow on the upkeep by giving them an extra 1-1 one -one counter. Frog tongue and rancor, frog tongue is allowing us to block flyers, and it also when it enters the battlefield it allows us to replace it by drawing a card. Rancor is also giving us a trample and also a boost in power by plus 2 plus 4. Plus, if the creature gets removed from the battlefield, we get it back to hand, allowing us to recast it later on. Mark of Fury, Whip Silk, and Vine Weft are giving us some repeatability spells for the game. Mark of Fury will bounce back at the beginning of the instep, allowing us to recast it every turn, thus triggering heroic multiple times. Whip Silk allows us to obviously block fires again. We can also pay one green to return it to hand, so again, late game, we can sink mana into it and get multiple casts in a turn. Fine Weft is giving our creatures a plus one, plus one to its base stats, and also it is giving us an ability to get it back from the graveyard late game by mana sinking. Our final enchantment is Ancestral Mask, which will pump up the creature for plus two, plus two for each other enchantment in play. That also includes our opponent's enchantments. Our final spells of the deck are Lead the Stampede and Explore. Lead is allowing us to dig for more creatures, we are a bit light at 16, and Explore is allowing us to ramp up by playing an additional land and we also get a card draw out of it. Our lands are simply Rugged Highlands for the duel and a single Evolving Wilds to fetch what we need, i.e. a Mountain, or the Double Green for Ferris Band Thunderfoot. And then we have 9 Forests and 7 Mountains which will make up the basics of the deck. Now. As a little side note, there are more dual lands in such as Timber Gorge and Gruel Gate, but I have found from testing that this slows the deck down quite considerably as they all enter tapped. And against control mashups, we want to be the aggressor and getting out in front as much as possible. Moving on to the sideboard, we are running Blazing Volley. This is obviously to deal 1 damage to all our opponent's creatures, so it's great against the token matchup. Fog is for the aggressive matchup. Uh, we will struggle against a very hyper aggressive deck, so this obviously just buys us a turn or two. Lightning Bolt is effective targeted removal. This allows us to obviously get rid of threats either in flyers or on the ground. Hull Breach is our artifact slash enchantment removal. Obviously, we can target one, the other, or even both with this spell. Relic of Progenitus is our graveyard hate, and it also obviously affects any graveyard matters slash reanimator decks. And our final spell in the sideboard is Elephant Guide. This is great for any removal strategies such as Mono Black, who are going to target our creatures by Edict effects and Sacrifice effects. Uh, it will allow us to get a 3-3 token afterwards once the creature is destroyed, allowing us to at least have a body on the board which we can start swinging with. So that wraps it up for Gruel Heroes. Uh, tell me in the comments section, is there anything sweet that I have missed from the pool that is Legacy Light? Uh, let me know uh, what you think that we should be running, what we shouldn't be running. And uh, thank you once again for tuning in and listening to the Deck Tech. And thank you for the continued support on the channel. I've been your host, Jordan, signing off.